and I found that it was healthy. But it's not the problem to try that. I'm showing you exactly how I go about my daily skincare as myself. got you nice and pumped up. Today we're going to be discussing a 1930s skincare routine. This is the skincare routine I use, obviously, and um, it is inspired by the lovely Constance Bennett, and I'll be showing you some footage of her throughout this video, um, and showing you the modern equivalents to the products she used so that we can best emulate uh, her skincare routine. So first, what we're going to need to do is tie our hair up, if you have long hair. Unless, of course, you wake up with perfect hair and makeup like Constance does. Uh, but for the rest of us simpletons, we're going to have to tie our hair up. <laughs> so the first step is cleansing cream. Pretty straightforward. What was very popular um, in the 30s, and still pretty popular now, but what everybody used for years and years was Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Cold cream was a staple in skincare routines forever, and so this is my recommended product. Um, it's an amazing product. It's been around since like the 1910s, I think, and it's tried and tested, and it's very good. So, um... You apply this, you don't use any water, you don't rinse this off your skin. If that's something that really bugs you, you want to rinse it off, then I recommend using the Pond's Cucumber Cleanser. This is sort of a more modernized version of the cold cream. This doesn't come in a bigger jar though, so you're only going to find it in the smaller jar. Um, this one is like the regular cold cream, but it rinses off easier because it's thinner, it has a thinner consistency, um, it's just a lot lighter. So if you have um, maybe oily skin, this might work better for you um, because it's not as thick and creamy as the regular cold cream is. But I have dry skin, and I assume Constance did as well because she uses a lot of moisturizing products in her skincare routine. So we're just going to go ahead and apply. Make sure you take some a little extra time and put it on your neck as well. Your neck and your hands are the first places that are going to show aging when you get older. So if you want to avoid that, make sure you uh, do that. And if you wear makeup, um, this is a really good product because it just melts makeup away. Um, I've done a lot of stage makeup for theater and things like that, and um, deep, deep, thick, you know, grease paint can just be, like, wiped off with this. It takes a couple times, but it definitely works. So, Constance wipes her cold cream off with a rag, but that's not very sanitary. We can use tissues. Um, or you can rinse it if you use the cucumber cleanser. The reason why it's not really advised to rinse the regular cold cream is it's not really made for that. It's, and it's super thick and oily, so it will um, probably leave a weird residue on your drain. So, as you can see, it sort of like melts down onto your face, if you can tell from the light. And um, then you just wipe it off. Be gentle, though. I don't want to be too rough. Okay, so now that our face is nice and moisturized and cleansed, we're going to move on to the next step, which is the stimulant cream. Now I apply my stimulant cream. Just for a few minutes to develop a stimulation. Remember, I said stimulation is the basis of my 
Now, a stimulant cream isn't really a term that's used anymore, and in fact, I googled stimulant cream, and it's not a cream that goes on your face. So, my alternative to stimulant cream is Noxzema. Noxzema has been around forever as well, and it was around in the 30s. Um, Noxzema features um, eucalyptus oil, and so it, like, tingles and stimulates your skin and just leaves it super, like, you know, excited and everything like that. So, definitely, um, this is probably similar to what Constance was using in the video. If she wasn't using Noxzema, she was probably using a, like, competitive product. So, Noxzema can be rinsed off as well, or you can, uh, tissue it off, I believe. But, it's usually rinsed. This is very cooling on your skin, and it definitely tingles and feels really nice and starts to wake up and stimulate your skin. I'm going to go rinse this off. I'll be right back. Ah, my face feels so refreshed. Um, and now, the last skincare product that Constance speaks about is her mask, her complexion mask. She uses a unknown mask. We don't know exactly what kind of mask she uses. Now, a mask is sort of a unusual thing to have in your daily skincare routine. So it makes more sense for people with dry skin to wear a mask every single day because you can do moisturizing masks like the Jergens uh, All-Purpose Face Cream. So this says right here on the back, it can be worn as a mask, even left on overnight. I personally probably wouldn't leave it on overnight, but that's just me. Um, if you find use in that, that's cool. So the consistency looks like that. It's pretty creamy and it's like a sort of a pink, pinkish cream. And um, this also takes off makeup pretty well. Um, I had some pretty intense 4th of July makeup where my entire face was an American flag. And this took off the makeup pretty well. This would be left on. I would leave this on for about 10 minutes. Constance says... Um, however long you take a bath, or if you even take a bath, I don't really hear of a lot of people taking, like, daily baths anymore. You know, showers are kind of what people do now, so, um, really just go with it. I leave it on for usually 10 to 30 minutes, and it is unreal how soft it leaves my face feeling. Like, I almost feel like it's too soft. I'm just like, this is not natural. My face should not be this soft. Now that that is on my face, I will leave it on for about 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes minimum, I'd say. Um, and then I will rinse it off. So the mask uh, leaves you with sort of a shimmery finish on your face, a kind of a dewy look. Um, which Constance noted that she enjoyed. Um, she likes to finish off with a lipstick that stays on. But I'm not much of a lipstick wearer, so I'm just wearing a, uh, this is, this just, this one happens to be red, but it's a chapstick. <laughs> and you preferably want to get one with SPF. Like this one. I believe it's only like SPF 4 though. So in between the mask and the lipstick, Constance uses some other makeup products that um, might leave you a little confused because some of them have weird names. And I'm not much of a makeup wearer, so I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wear makeup every single day. I only wear it on, like, special fun occasions or whatever. So, um, I don't have that to show you. But I, <clears throat> I do have the translations in case you want to wear makeup. Oh, here it is. I have this little notepad here. Constance notes using a glow base 
um, right after using her mask, she starts her makeup off with a glow base. Which can pretty much be equivalented to a, a foundation with moisturizer or a tinted foundation. Then she uses a um, cream rouge, which is just cream blush. And um, lots of people don't really like to use cream rouge because it's harder to use, which she, she just thinks they're lazy. Um, if you have a oily skin, you might want to just stick to the um, regular powder blush. Don't let Constance berate you into using cream rouge. Then she uses a powder, uh, which any powder that works for you and matches your skin tone is good. And lipstick. She says it's important to find one that stays on, and that she's finally found one that stays on, but she doesn't tell you what kind it is, so good luck. Good luck finding it yourself. I really hope that this helps you if you're looking for a more um, maybe inexpensive or sort of back-to-basics skincare routine. Whew, let my hair down. If you'd like to see Constance's full beauty routine from start to finish without any interruption from me, uh, check the link in the description or click, ooh, here's a fun, click this framed photo of her. <laughs> so, click this photo of Constance if you'd like to see her full beauty routine from start to finish without um, interruption from me. And it'll be, it's a really fun video. I watch it, like, way too often. I think she's just adorable. And, um, she just talks so elegantly. It's fun. So, thanks again for watching. And remember... And man, and everyone in between. So, I wish you all loads and loads of loveliness.